Hello everybody. Welcome back to Jockey Inc. on Ravenport with me, Golf Cart Jockey. We have a lot, a lot of work to do today. Uh, we have Joe and Jesse here are on fields 9 and 10. Uh, Joe is over there on 9. That's Jesse right there on 10. I'm helping him. We are getting everything plowed up and we're going to get the cotton in the ground. Get this thing, uh, get this part of the field growing so they won't be, I guess I could turn plant growth off, couldn't I? I could do that. I might do that um, so that we can at least get this planted and it'll only be a stage behind versus, eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Either way. Anyways, we're going to get this planted in cotton, get this growing. We have the grass over on field 6 and 12 is ready to cut. We're going to get that put in the bunker today. And... Hopefully we can get some contracting missions done. Um, a bunch of fertilizing missions on the fields down in the bottom uh, little valley down there. There's like four or five fields down there. You can knock those out you know, for about $1,000 a field. You can do them in a couple minutes. So um, we'll go do those two. Just uh, for one thing, I want to get I want to get the uh, trophy for doing the, the missions. So we'll just go ahead and knock a bunch of them out. It's like I say, it's not a ton of money, but um, get out of this guy's way. He's not slowing down. It's not a ton of money in him, but it's fast money. You know, it's easy. So we'll go do that too. Uh, we also have to ride the horses. We have a bunch of horses now, so we got a bunch of work to do. A lot of riding to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Seems like there was something else we had to do too. All the other animals are taken care of. We have the hay lofts all full of straw and hay, so we have plenty of stockpiles. Yeah, seems like we're doing okay. Oh, come on, I just want to set the cruise. I hate that it does that. If it doesn't throw you out of the vehicle, then it raises the implement up. <laughs> all right, let's see. I think he's about no. I think he quit, didn't he? He must be having a having a popsicle or something. Let's we'll see if we can finish this up for him. I think Joe had quite a bit to do up there. We need to go get the lime spreader too. Uh, most of this field will be okay, but the edges that we extended needed need to be limed so we can get everything on the same schedule. So we'll have to do that. Uh, I'm going to say the grass field's ready to mow. That's the one I'm excited about right there. I'm ready to get some silage in the bunker there. Get this thing going. So we may do that um, when we get cows. We may just make a bunch of silage in the bunker, hook some conveyor belts up, and, you know, that'd be the extent of it. I don't know about making... I'm still on the fence about making TMR. Everybody I talk to says that it's just a ton, a ton of work and you know questionable on the uh, whether or not it's it's worth it in the end as far as profit goes so I think I'm gonna hold off on that I do want to get some cows though can't have a global operation for a world-class farm without some cattle so we definitely have to do that but uh, yeah like I say mother net we just got a bunch of bunch of different jobs to do today so yeah I think it's gonna be pretty exciting it's uh, a bunch of a bunch of hard work it sounds super exciting doesn't it let's see almost done here I guess what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and get the lime spreader and bring it down here I'd like to get this field knocked out and done maybe then we could all move over to the mowing I, I may get somebody started on that uh, I may see if Tyler's around and get him started on the mowing. We'll, we'll do something. But let me go figure that out and I will catch up with you guys here in just a minute. We got all the plowing done. We are getting ready to seed over there. You can see we're starting to... I think that's Joe taking the lime over right now. We'll get that put down and then we will get the cotton planted on fields 9 and 10 over there. Man, when we got those things plowed together, that is a big old field. 
It's bigger than I thought. It is going to be quite something. But we went ahead and took the fertilizing contract on field eight again. Uh, this is just too good to pass up. I mean, this is $28,000 for this fertilizing contract. It doesn't take us that long. And um, it's not, you know, we don't use that much fertilizer. I have put the front tank on here and filled it up. Um, I don't think it's going to pull from there, you know, as far as the fertilizer goes. But when I, when I run out of the back tank, I'll just stop and unload the front one into pallets and then back up to it with the back tank and load those up. So we have 4,000 liters of fertilizer. We can we should be able to get quite a ways through this field right here before we need to uh, have to buy anything. The first time I did it, I thought that I had done it all in one tank, but I realized that uh, through the middle part, I would hired a worker who had buy fertilizer on. So I'm not quite sure how much it takes to do it now uh, with since we have to buy everything. But... Uh, We'll find out, you know, we're, we're about to find out. After we do this, we're going to go down in the valley down there, and we're going to knock out those, I think it's about six fields down there we can get done. We'll be able to do it on one front and back tank full. So we will get those done. Like I say, most of those are about $1,000 a field, and just takes just one or two passes with this for spreader, and uh, we're done there. So, yeah, we'll go knock those out. The horses are done. We did go ride the horses. They are all cleaned up, they are all exercised, and yeah, the only thing we have to do with the animals now is we do need to go take the uh, little manitou and clean up the chickens and clean up the sheep, get their cleanliness back up so that their productivity stays up. But once we do that, the animals are good, so, um, well, yeah, when we get in the manatee, we may as well go ahead and take the, uh, put the forks on and move the, the wool out and go ahead and get it stacked on the trailer. We're gonna go, once that gets too high, we're gonna look into selling that, so. We'll have have some income coming in. We'll have the cotton that we're gonna sell. We're gonna have the big old pallet full of, of our trailer full of wool that we're gonna sell. Yeah, we got a lot going on. We got this contract here that's gonna be, we'll probably make about 20,000 when we're done because after I make this headland here, I'm gonna hire a worker and that way this contract will be getting done while I do something else. Um, won't make as much pure profit off of it, but um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make money off of it, that's for sure. And when we do that, I'm going to go probably get the lime spread, uh, help out over there on field nine, and get both, uh, both planters going. We have two uh, cedars now, so we're going to go ahead and get, get that cotton put down pretty quick. We also have, Jesse is over here mowing. No, I'm sorry. Taylor is over here mowing. We have Taylor and Tyler helping us out. I got Tyler in one field and Taylor in the other, so I don't mix them up. Uh, Taylor's over here mowing. So Jesse, I think, is going to get that wind road for us. We need to go pick that up and put it in the bunker. We have to get the cotton planted. Get this fertilized. Man. We are... We're going, I guess. That's how we make the money. Start spending a lot of money. <laughs> Seems like this is everywhere we go. We got workers hired everywhere. But, I mean, hey, it's going to pay off in the end. So, that's just one of those things. That's how it goes. Man, look, I forgot how big this field was. We used, I don't know, six or seven hundred liters going around there. Close to a thousand liters on one pass, so that's not good. Not sure if he's going to make it or not, but hey, we'll figure it out. Mm, let's see. There's one pass right there. So, yeah, he'll make, it's going to be close. He's going to get a good ways through here anyways. So let me get up here and get, uh, get straight because this, the edge of this field is not straight. So what I'm going to do is straighten it off for him and then we'll come back and finish it off uh, you know do the eastern side of the field when we get done there so we will see spin him around here and that's close enough send the worker off 
All right. Here we go. Look at that. Already ready. Got the bucket on. We need to see about getting in there and mowing the sheep in. Those guys were getting lazy. We're just feeding them all the grass so they don't have to eat it, I guess. The edges of this trigger are weird. It's like you have to clean from the middle out. Like if we had started from this end, that one, that end that we just picked up wouldn't wouldn't have registered. And now we have to go back this way. So kind of odd. Have to come from the middle. But yeah, when you do that, it picks it up perfect. No big deal. So I don't know. There we go. Get that all dumped out. Go up and hit the chickens real quick, and then we will. Let's see, I have to remember what I did with the pallet forks. I assume they're down at the workshop down there. That's more than likely where we left them. We, uh, moving pallets down there, so hopefully that's where they are. Yep, we are close to filling that bunker up, buddy. I am getting excited about that. I just want to get the, uh, our new front end loader and get in there and play with it get in there and throw some silage around with the forks oh hey buddy we'll have to come feed you we fed you yesterday we haven't fed you yet today these chickens buddy these racing chickens they make a lot of waste I gotta tell you they don't mess around scoop all that up and see how much we can get back in there they're almost making as much waste as they're eating. Right, so it says I'm at zero. But it still has the the wheat symbol up there. Not sure what that's all about. Let's see how much of this scoop it'll take. It's taking some of it anyway. This action cannot be performed here. I guess that means it's full. So that's all right. I took half of it, or close to half of it. At this rate, between the the waste that they make and this little pile here, it's it's going to be a little while before we have to feed the chickens. That's that's a good deal. I like it. We did get the trophy for breeding a hundred chickens, so we're just going to go ahead and let those guys get to the limit now and. and it wasn't worth, you know, after they charge you the delivery fee, which you have no control over, by the way. Um, you know, you don't make any money off selling the chickens. So I think I sold a hundred chickens and made a thousand dollars or something ridiculous because there was a twenty-five hundred dollar delivery fee, which I don't have any way around. But uh, yeah, so I think we'll just leave them at four hundred and and let them keep making eggs. And what was the the trigger full of eggs was, I think, $9,000. So, yeah. We'll just go that route with the chickens. Let's see. Is there a pallet fork in here somewhere? Hmm. I kind of thought I left it in here. Of course, I knew it was over here somewhere. Where we can slide that out of the way. We'll keep the bucket on for a second. Here we go. Slide the spreader over. We'll go put this back out of the way. Drop it off back here. And we will go get some wool pallets stacked up. I need to get the IT runner trailer and move whoops, the bottom part of the trailer, the actual trailer trailer, and pull the 
um, you know, the trailer that we have the, the wool pallets on, get it moved out on flat ground. That way we can make our lives a little easier when it comes to these pallets. Man, I had a I had quite a time getting those things stacked on there. Well, I mean, they go on fine. It's getting the forks to release them is the problem. You can't get them to turn loose of it. So, yeah, we might give this one shot. I'll probably do this off camera. Just so I can yell and cuss and scream. And throw things at the TV. You know. Can't believe I made sheep in there. Little bitty pin. Got sheep everywhere. Try to go through with it. Oop, nope, nope, that's too much. See, I just can't. You can't float the forks out. Because it just comes with you. You can't push down on it. It just comes with you. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Maybe I can just tilt it over and slide out. Oops. We'll try that with the next one. Push it in a little bit. Not bad. I'm going to put a strap on that one while we put the other one over here. Just so we don't knock it loose. We'll cheat a little bit. Just a little bit of cheating. I have seen me knock that one off the other side and <laughs> I'm sure you guys have too alright let's see if we can get this one on here do a little tilting action on it alright let's see tilt forward Actually, yeah, that's not too bad. It probably would have worked a lot better if the, you know, the other pallet hadn't already been on there. I was hitting that one, so I couldn't get it tilted, but I think that may be the new strategy there. All right, got those on. We got, what, one more? One more full one we can put on. We're going to start start the top layer, and like I say, once, if, once we get that one full, we'll go ahead and sell just to kind of see where we're at. Hard to get those forks to float. I don't know. <laughs> it's on there, but I don't know how it's on there. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to get the thing pulled out so I can get to the back. I must have slid it when I was arranging the pallets on there. So it's a little too far back. So we'll go ahead and put this one right here. With our newfound slide method. Restrap. And there we go. All right. So that's not too bad at all. I kind of like it. I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's go get the lime put down. And I think that might be it for this morning. We will uh, we'll probably call it a day there. But yeah, let me go get that ready so that Joe and Jesse can get back on the planting. We got to get this cotton in the ground so we can get it harvested. So I'll catch up with you in just a second. All right, we are over here between nine and ten and eleven, and I'm gonna have to keep looking at the map on this one because it's just. Basically, it's just the outlines that we stretched on the fields that need to be limed. Everything else we did last time, so. Um, except for field 10, the, the sugar beet field. It didn't need it either, though. That's kind of weird. But uh, let me set the crews, and I'll show you. There we go. So we're knocking this line out now. And then, I'll, yeah, I'll just kind of work my way back around to the thick line on the, the west side of 9 there, so. 
we'll get this taken care of. Once we get this knocked out, I will get the guys going with the cedars. We will get cotton back in here. And while they are doing that, me and uh, Taylor are going to be getting the, the grass into the silage bunker. So still just right here at lunchtime, we still got a lot of work to do today. So no time to, no time to goof off, no time for chicken racing today. We'll have to do that another day. Helper E is, oh, that's, was that this guy? Oh no, helper E I bet is the one doing field eight. Okay. So let me do this edge and then I will go finish that field so that we can get paid. I have to do the, the side that we squared off over here. I have to finish that. So good. There'll be some more money we'll make right there. Yeah, we're going to get this thing. My goal now is to buy field number eight. I really want that field. It's one point, we'll say $1.3 million dollars. But uh, it has oats in it now, and with all the horses that we have, man, I really want that. I really want those oats. So that would be, I think one harvest on there would probably do us good. We'd probably live off that for quite a while with the horses. So, um, yeah, I, I really want that field. So I guess that's our challenge. See if we can get to make $1.2 million here real quick. Like, I don't know how, how long we have. That field is just now growing, so... Maybe if we turn plant growth down, hey, maybe we have a chance at it. Who knows? Let's see what we look like now. Getting close. We'll have some touch-up areas we'll have to go back and get. But uh, we'll... now there's area of lime up to my left. It says it needs to be limed, but I guess it's just that little field edge right there. Now this part, I'm not sure how wide we have to go here either, so we'll do, do one run up through here. I guess I need to go all the way to the field edge, so we'll go to the old boundary and turn around. That should be okay. But yeah, alright, that's what I'm going to do. I don't think you need to watch me make the ground white anymore. So, I'll go take care of this. Like I say, we got to bunch of stuff to do today I'll probably wait and record the uh, the silage process so I probably won't do that off camera I'll get these guys going on the cotton and get all that taken care of uh, and get some fertilizing contracts done but yeah that's their plan so I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me I'm golf cart jockey and I want you to have a good day